Good morning and welcome to our brand new Carrot Weekly, which will be your compass in order to decode and smoothly navigate through the different LPA activities. This short format is meant to give you a clear, crisp and meaningful overview of our latest webinars, events, with some best of extracts and straightforward quotes. This executive summary will also highlight some of our upcoming events and projects. Without further ado, I would like to invite you to have a look at last week's events, including the Luxembourg PVC Stories with Stephanie Delpadange from Sofina, who has a very interesting view on how P jobs could be handled in Luxembourg. From a regulator service provider perspective, I think in, in Luxembourg we are really at, at, at the top. Great service in the big four, lawyer firm, uh, CSSF. Uh, so an excellent setup. It's a fantastic city, it's a fantastic country, and we have everything to, to attract talent. I think what will help us attracting more talent and be flexible in the future, this crisis has learned us to work with more flexibility. And uh, I think that flexibility will allow for more high profile to, to you know, consider Luxembourg. Okay, I want to be based in Paris, but I spend four days a, a week in Luxembourg and then back in Paris and I can work from home from Paris a day a week. That's fine for me. That's a good compromise. Same for London, Berlin, something like that. So I think that the working from home will add positive things to Luxembourg. Evi, the Summer Training Academy is starting soon. What can you tell us about it? Yes, sure. Thank you, Stefan. The next edition of the LPA Academy with a new combination of modules starts on the 14th of June. A dedicated private equity training made in Luxembourg. So be part of the community, learn from the best, register now. For more information, please visit our website. So let's now have a look at what's coming up. This week on Thursday, we'll host a webinar on the PE exit strategies via the stock exchange route. and would like to remind you that the LPA AGM will be held on June 8. For the representatives who have not voted yet, for the 10 open board seats, do not forget to do so before June 4, which is the official deadline. Goodbye and see you next week again.